All right, how's everyone doing? I'm back with another video. Um, gonna be a little bit different. When I put this item down that I have to, uh, let's say do an unboxing and review on, you're probably gonna be in shock. So, ready? That's right, NC Power Cab. Okay. Now I'm not getting it because I have Digitrax Zephyr Extra with radio and computer control and Wi-Fi but box from them but this is just as a backup in case my Zephyr has to go into service I mean this is actually a little inexpensive system it's over eh, about 2 amp peaks at 2 amps so it's only just for a temporary uh, backup but but of course people do say though that NCE is a, is easier to use than any other DCC system out there but we all have our own opinions, let's just keep it that way, but, so, alright, I got my local hobby shop, uh, well, I had to pay retail on it, Mark Twain Hobby Center in St. Charles, Missouri, uh, look on their website, hobbyone.com, they got great deals, other than that, just because you might think, well, this is paying retail, they got other deals and a lot of other stuff that they've got, so, you know, they got, uh, a, a, about a medium-sized area, to pick from I mean it's enough for what I've got with my 5x10 but anyways all right let's unbox this puppy um again the NCE power cab well it says it right there so all right it's just an outside sleeve we're gonna pop out all right set this to the side all right I actually did a live video on my Facebook page uh, already breaking it because it says here if seal has been broken check contents so if it were brand new in the box you just take your knife and that's just taped over so and then bam that's what you open up to okay first thing we'll get out is the controller itself power cab now the basics of a power cab NCE system is this is the command station booster and throttle all in one. I'll explain why here when we go to uh, set this thing up. So there's your power cab itself. Lightweight too. Um, this is a little track pin for the power cab panel as I call it PCP which disconnects from your power supply to the power cab using the flat cable. I'll show you in a minute. And then to your track. All right. So this is small. This track pin connector, small. So don't lose it. Keep track of it. We're just gonna now just since this is nothing major to talk about, we're just gonna plug it in the back and then leave it at that. And go set it up. Um, you get a power supply to plug into that barrel jack on the PCP. All right. Um, what else? This coil cable you cannot use when just using the power cab alone. This is uh, for using other NCE systems like using an SB5 smart booster or if you're using a USB interface. Um, I'll explain why, why that is um, later, later in this video. So, open up the box. Then you get your flat cable uh, to use with the power cab alone. All right. Last but not least, oh, here it is. Um, this is what I should have uh, had it in, on top because this we get on top. It's a little quick flip, uh, two-page, one-piece paper manual, and. Read bold print. It says, read this and look at the pictures. So if you're brand new starting out with this system, you got one, two, three, four, five, six items, seven, including the manual. We'll just make it six for the functional DCC system. And then it shows you how to quickly plug it into your track. Very easy. And then you lift this crate up, and then you get the power cab manual, which of course the manual will always tell you about how the system works, what functions are on what and how to select locomotives, etc, etc. So, alright. Take the camera off the tripod here. 
Now that we've seen me unbox this stuff, why don't we go ahead and go set it up on a layout. So let's go do it. Okay, so this is the main area right in here where I'm going to be setting all the power cab stuff up. So, um, let me go ahead and get all the components. Uh, you'll need, this requires little tools. You'll need a, like a small flathead screwdriver to screw in the two wires going to your track to the PCP panel. So, alright. Grab this all here. Um, again, here's your power cab. I'm gonna do something here. Okay. So, I already got track connectors. These alligator clips hook into two bare wires underneath. And then I got same setup with my going to my Zephyr Extra. So, I don't know. Let's zoom this in. Let's see if I can make this work like that. I think that'll be better. All right, cool. Okay, so now, uh, first off, what I'll do is I'll grab my power cab and set that to the side right there. Um, run the track wires. I got holes underneath my layout, so I can run wires easily. Just feed them through. Okay. So then the power supply. Let's just plug it in. So the barrel jack, you plug it into the barrel jack. All right, now, we're coming to the cables. I said there's two dick cables. There's a flat cable with six wires, it's like a phone jack. This is also like a phone jack, the coil, but it's got four wires. Here's the difference. Six wires, the two wires are for track power when using the power cap only. No other throttles, no other NCE uh, higher end systems. If you're just using the power cap alone as the base, use this flat cable. Now, let's say you've already got a existing NCE system. It's like a CSO2 or a Power Pro 5 amp system or something like that, SB5, etc. You would want to use this uh, coiled cable. But you don't have to use the power supply that came with it or the PCB panel. This power cam, so like I said, if you have the higher end NCE system, you just plug this cold cord in. This is essentially, for those of you who know NCE, becomes that pro cab that's tethered. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, NCE, you can send this in for a fee that they will upgrade it to full uh, radio. It'll still be a power cab, but that'll be also radio and tethered. So I think that's pretty cool. So that's the difference between the two uh, wires here, or the cables. Alright, so now, the rest of it's simple. All you do, you just... And I'll twist the cable here, stretch it out, and take your power cab. All right. I don't know if you can see that. You see how it's oriented right now? You plug it in with the tab on the plug facing up, and so you hear a click. You heard a click. All right. Now, take the other end. And it's got to go in a certain port on the front of the PCP. When you're looking at it, plug it into the left port with this cable upside down. Here, click. Okay. Now, we'll take these wires and put them in the track outposts. All right. Simple as that. Just holding it here. You screw it down. Alright, next what you'll do is you'll just plug it in, the power supply, oh, shouldn't have done that, alright, now when I plug in the power supply, uh, this will happen, the boot up screen, and go through its starting process, okay, once track power is applied, yeah, you see it from its glow, LED here will indicate, meaning you got track power and no shorts. That's good. And then it'll go to the main home screen where it says, it would say local 3 if it came out of the box, and then the direction, the speed, and then your fast clock, and then your function button labels. So, okay. Now that we got this all set up, let me go show you how to run a train. 
Okay, now here comes the fun part. We're gonna run uh, that Atherin Ray to roll GP50. That's got a Soundtracks 4 function, non-sound, it's a mobile decoder, lighting and motor control only. So, alright. Now, if let's say you got a new loco and you got your NC power cap set up. The quick start guide says you were to first select loco. Alright, you hit that and now you see it says enter loco. You're going to type in the digit. For example, if it was a new loco, you'd hit 3. And then you'd press enter. And now it's on loco 3. This loco, however, will not run on 3. Okay? That's just if you got a new DCC locomotive with a decoder in it that allows you to operate on DCC. So, you change the direction forward and it shows reverse. Uh, then your speed is a thumb wheel and you see the numbers go up, up, up. So that's that. I don't know, it looks like there's a little bit of fuzz on my camera. We're just going to have to make it work. And your horn whistle button, if it had sound as well as bell, then the headlight shows light. And then your function buttons. And every time, let's say, you push the number buttons, they'll show up here on the screen. I think buttons one, two, through six. Uh, there is a way to expand them out. I just don't know how. Because again, I just got this today. I'm a more of Digitrack user, but we're getting this as just a backup DCC system. Like I said, I'm not going to be using it as much. But I already, of course, when I got back home today from the hobby shop, I decided to just get it out anyway, start running some trains, see how it works. Uh, one thing to note, this can run HO scale, I think, since it's like a 2-amp system, uh, maybe like four locomotives. Uh, if you need to go more than that, if you have more than four locomotives like I do, uh, you need to upgrade it to an SB5 Smart Booster, which provides 5 amps. Upgrade to the power cab. Um, so, Alright, so for instance, let's just select the locomotive number of... This is in a Consist Reverse, that locomotive, with another engine on my layout, which I'm going to take off. So, we're going to enter its Consist address of 28. But you notice, instead of saying Consist, it says Loco. That's because I programmed the decoders to be on a same number in a consist. All right, we're not advanced consisting again. This is just a simple video on how to set it up, uh, or unbox it, set it up, and how to run a train. It's that easy. Three steps. So it'll be in reverse mode. Trick power is on, and I should be able to hit the headlight. Maybe not. Oh. That's right. Track power is not on. My aggregator clip system I got down here separating the NCE uh, power lead to the Digitracks. Two track outputs on alligator clips that connect to just two bare wires underneath that I got uh, hooked in. So, okay. Now let's try it. Um, using flat cable. Alright, so you know what, anyways, something's not going right here. I'm going to have to work with it and figure it out. So, uh, yeah, so this will be another wrap on another video I have. Uh, like, dislike, comments and questions below. Leave in the comments section. Um, so yeah, that's all i got to say. So thank you again for watching one of my other videos.